Hey guys, welcome back to Brunson's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to solve inequalities with multiplication or division. An inequality is a mathematical phrase that says that two values are not equal to one another, and we use the symbols of inequalities, which are greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to, to form an inequality. In this video, we will be learning how to solve an inequality with multiplication and division. Remember that multiplication and division are inverse operations. That means multiplication can undo division, and division can undo multiplication when it comes to inequalities and equations. So here we have our first example, which is r divided by 2 is greater than or equal to 15. We see that the variable r is being divided by 2. Now we don't know the value of r, and when you're solving an inequality, you're not going to get the exact value of the variable. Instead, you're just going to get whether, let's say, r is greater than or equal to 17, or r is less than 3.84, and such that. Okay, so here we have r divided by 2 is greater than or equal to 15, and we know that r is being divided by 2. Remember, division can be eliminated by multiplication. So if we, in order to get the variable by itself, we have to multiply by 2 on both sides. So we will have r divided by 2 times 2 is greater than or equal to 15 times 2. Remember, you have to do the same thing to both sides. So we know that r divided by 2 times 2, 2 and 2 will cancel each other out, and we will be left with r is greater than or equal to 15 times 2, which is 30. And so the value of r is either equal to 30 or greater than 30. So any number greater than or equal to 30 is the value of r. All right, now let's solve our second inequality, which is m divided by 6 is less than 3. Once again, m is being divided by 6, so we have to multiply. So m divided by 6 times 6 is less than 3 times 6. So m divided by 6 times 6, the 6 cancel each other out, and we are left with m is less than 3 times 6, which is 18. So we get m is less than 18. So the value of m can be any number less than 18. So it could be negative 1,000. Okay, now let's go down to some multiplication examples. So here we have 16m is greater than 96, and 48n is less than or equal to 384. Okay, so here 16 is being multiplied by m, so we have to divide by m on both sides. 16 and 16 will cancel each other out, and we're left with m is greater than 96 divided by 16, which is 6. That means that the value of m is any number greater than 6, so it could be... 1,859. Okay, now let's solve this last example, which is 48n is less than or equal to 384. So since 48 is being multiplied by n, we have to divide by 48 on both sides. So 48 and 48 cancel each other out, and we're left with n is less than or equal to 384 divided by 48, which is equal to 8. And so the value of n is either equal to 8 or any number that is less than the number 8. So this is how you solve an inequality using multiplication or division. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!